Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be giving away a free script and explaining how it works that will automatically generate thumbnails of any compositions you give it. With this script, you're going to be able to click one button, automatically detect the compositions you want, whether they're selected or just the general compositions, and then immediately begin rendering them out in Media Encoder, and as well as saving out screenshots associated with those. So both an image and a video thumbnail will be auto-generated based on compositions here. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link, try it out for yourself and generate your own thumbnails follow us there on github and down in the description as well you can follow us on instagram if you're not a member of our discord server you can join and get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions and much more and if you'd like to help support our youtube channel and get cool perks at the same time you can become a member supporter premium supporter or vip so let's go ahead and go over how the script works and you can then just copy and paste it, use it for yourself or make modifications and customize it. So the first thing we need to know is that we need to have some compositions created in After Effects. Here I have a project with quite a few. Uh, I have four different compositions here. And right now, the beginning of the script simply loops through all of the items in our project. And it says, if any of these items are compositions, we're gonna store them. And these are gonna be in our found comps uh, array. This is all external to any function. So this is a global uh, variable called found comps. But then the main function that does everything in this is called generate thumbnails, which simply takes in compositions, a list of compositions as an argument. And in this case, since we just looped through everything in here and found all of our compositions, stored them in a variable, we're now gonna pass that as an argument. So now we can loop through all of these compositions and each one of them, we wanna render out a preview image and a preview video. Previously, I had a, an app.begin and end undo group to try and be able to control Z and undo the entire batch process. But when you add things to the uh, render queue and media encoder, this can cause some issues. So just be careful using that. And then I have simple definitions for each of the render queue items. We're gonna basically be adding each of these compositions to the render queue. And then we want to be able to modify that information, such as the file name and where we want to save that file to. So what we do is we loop through all of those compositions that are coming in. And basically, in this case, we have four. So it's going to loop through each one of those. And for each of those comps, we want to do two things again, a preview thumbnail, uh, that's an image and a preview video that is uh, in whatever format we last used in Media Encoder. And to get the frame, uh, we're just gonna use a PNG and use the function or method called save frame to PNG. And this simply requires two arguments, the first of which being the time in seconds at which we want to save the frame of our composition, as well as a file object pointing to where uh, we want to save this file as well as the file name plus PNG. So this is actually going to be something we cover in next week's uh, quick tip tutorial, being a super quick tip, but going into depth on this single line of code. Next up, we have the code to add this to the render queue inside of After Effects. So we set render queue item equal to app.project.renderQueue, and we're going to go into the items inside of our render queue, which will ideally start at empty, and then we're going to add our composition that we're currently looking at. And since we're looping through a composition, each time through, this is just gonna add the next composition into the render queue. So next, we have a module set up. This is optional. Uh, you have basically the ability to choose whether or not you wanna modify the output module, which is this guy right here. This is, this is where you control whether uh, it's a certain preset format. And if you wanted to, you could modify the module, uh, but this code, uh, technically is not necessary just to get the render done. And lastly, uh, in terms of this loop, each of the compositions, we're going to set the module file name. What this does is sets this right here as if you're clicking on this, changing the name of your file and the location. So what we do is we set the file of our module equal to a new file object. And this file object is going to contain the path and the name of the file we're going to export. Since by default, uh, After Effects uses an AVI file output, we're going to use that as our extension, but realize when we render, it's not going to be that format. So we're going to just save this to our desktop. We're going to add the name of our composition that we're currently looking at uh, as our file name, and then add the extension AVI to finish it off. Finally, once we're outside of adding all of these items to our render queue, we need to render them. 
And the best way to do that now is out of media encoder. So we're going to queue our entire render queue in media encoder. And with the true argument here, that means we're going to initialize the render process. So now if I go ahead and so now if I go and run this, I'm actually going to get an error. Module is required because we need access to the module file. So that line is actually required. And now that if we run it, we will begin adding all four of those compositions or however many you have into the render queue here. It's going to launch media encoder, adding all of our render queue items into here. And it's going to export in whatever format you last selected, which in my case is H264. And you can go in and make customizations to this, whether you want to customize what comps you select or the file formatting and things like that. But that's going to do it for this week's quick tip, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this. Download it yourself and follow us there on GitHub. Down in the description as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you want to get help outside these videos, you can join the Discord server and join one of our mini channels. And finally, if you want to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.